And it, and what is wrong with her? Why why the hell did you push Boston in the face like that? For, what did she do to you? Did she lick you? Did she pinch you or some shit? Why did you push her face like that? She mushed the hell out of her. Get off of me. And I bet you Boston was like, dude, what the hell? You know what I'm saying? And I bet you she put an emphasis on the dude. <laughs> dude, don't be putting your damn ass on me. This is already unfair that this person's here. This is unfair. <laughs>
I apologize for right now. I apologize for the moment because you got another game coming up tomorrow against the Aces. And guys, if y'all know what I know, this is one of the best teams in the WNBA because they got one of the best players in the WNBA. I told y'all she hooped like a dude. She hooped like the, the, the a mediocre dude. Matter of fact, she remind me of LaMarcus Aldridge. Don't she know she played like LaMarcus Aldridge? She has, she, she's a compliment to the WNBA because of the way her how, way she moves her skill set, right? But they got some assassins over there on that damn team. Kelsey Plum's crazy ass. You see how fast she be running around the court? That's another person that I think be out there taking that Ritalin. For real, because she be out there zoo, 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 like a little bunny rabbit. She's so fast. And they got uh, Jackie Young. Jackie Young is sick with it. Jackie Young is insane. Like, everybody's looking at Asia putting up 20, 30 points. Jackie Young's doing the same thing, too. And they got another person over there who's been hurt, who made the Olympic team. I think they got... I think they might have four players on the Olympic team. <laughs> All the people with these players on the Olympic team, man. Like, that's Kaylin and them are on the Olympic run right now. Hey, they beat Dana Taurasi and Brittany Griner and uh, it was Aaliyah, Aaliyah Cooper. Beat them all. All three of y'all. Beat y'all ass. All of y'all. Going to the Olympics and she ran through all of y'all. <laughs> How you love that? And did you see DT after the, after the game? She is up. Hey, she was humbled. She got humbled. I'm telling y'all. If they would have won that game, you would have seen DT talking mad trash. I'm talking mad shit about, about Kaylin. Y'all know she would have had. As much as she has been antagonizing this girl, right? The things that she has said about her. Yo, think she wants to go out there and win? I know they felt like shit. The whole team probably felt terrible. They, they, they couldn't believe it. They couldn't believe it. And I bet there's a lot of people out there, too, who bet against the fever. I bet the odds of them winning that game were extremely low. I bet they were. Because of one, Brandy Griner, who nobody could get around. But you know what? She's slow as hell. She is slow as hell. And when the offense runs through Kaitlyn, you run that running gun ball. I know y'all seen it going. She hit Boston. I want to say at least, at least three or four times on fast breaks going to the hole. That's what they do. See, Aaliyah's not a center. She's, she's so small. I think she's probably like 6'3", maybe 6'3", maybe 6'2". Six, six, but compared to them girls, because Brittany Ground like seven feet tall. You can't do anything against that. I promise, I think I only watched her score a few times. But then at the end of the game, it was like she had 22 points. I'm like, 22 points? Damn, when? It was the most quiet 22 points you'll ever see in your life. In your life. And, it, and what is wrong with her? Why? Why the hell did you push Boston in the face like that? For, what did she do to you? Did she lick you? Did she pinch you or some shit? Why did you push her face like that? She mushed the hell out of her. Get off of me. And I bet you Boston was like, dude, what the hell? You know what I'm saying? And I bet you she put an emphasis on the dude. <laughs> dude, don't be putting your damn ass on me. This is already unfair that this person's here. This is unfair. <laughs> I know y'all feel me. That is unfair. She has an unfair advantage. But it don't even matter. Because they got their behinds whooped. You see, I got to stop saying the curse word. So. <laughs> but they keep coming out, man. Hey, it was a great game yesterday. Shout out to everybody that's out there. Shout out to Coach Size, too. Um, you made a ballsy call pulling Mitchell out in that first quarter. You really did. Um, I, was wondering for, I was praying for you. Please call a timeout. Please call a timeout when y'all was down zero to eight. Call a timeout, but you didn't. But you made up for it with your play in the end. Now, I don't know this to be for certain, but a lot of people, like commenters, have been looking out there. Uh, they were looking on the court, and they saw a dude out there sitting with uh with, with sides in them. They saw a dude out there on the sideline. So I guess y'all did get a new coach. <laughs> or y'all got somebody to come in there and help you. Because I, I promise, I really felt like Coach Sides really listens to me. I really felt like she listened to me or somebody on her team has have heard something. Somebody in her her her, her unit, right, of coaches. They listen somebody, somebody did. <laughs> Can you imagine if Coach Sides is actually listening to me? She ain't gonna have no good things to say about me. <laughs> Can you imagine? She be like, oh that damn chocolatey. I don't know what's wrong with him. He's always talking about our players. We were just the best around here. He doesn't understand the WNBA is the best product ever created. And uh I uh, Somebody pass me a cigarette. That's how she would be talking shit about me. 
<laughs> call me an asshole. Call, that chocolate is an asshole. That's what she'll call me an asshole with her damn Marlon Brando sounding ass. Don't she sound like Marlon Brando from The Godfather? Take that damn cotton balls out your mouth. <laughs> oh, my God. But if there's a coach over there, they got some masculine energy in the building. That's all it is, guys. I am being honest when I say that. And I know that some of the women out there, you got to feel me when I do say it. Y'all need some masculine energy in the building. Too much female estrogen, the emotions, the aggression, aggressive as hell. And, and it shows. It shows out there. We know this. Come on, man, guys. We, we got, come on, guys are big ego dudes. Too, so we do silly shit as well. But we're not talking about dudes. We talk about the WNBA. We talk about what we see out there and what should be interjected into it. You know what I'm saying? Some masculine energy. Real masculine energy. Not they masculine because that's why you see them out there fighting. Because they got to have they gotta have masculine energy and feminine energy. And that masculine has overtaken all the feminine. <laughs> it's overtaking that shit. And do you see? Did you, do you hear how Cloud sounds when she speaks? Do you hear Brady Griner speak? If you closed your eyes and they started talking to you, you'd think you were talking to men. <laughs> It's the truth and y'all know it. Stop playing with me, man. Y'all, I say the thing that y'all thinking. That's all it is. I say what y'all thinking. And a lot of y'all was thinking that. And I know y'all a lot of thinking this. Great game, guys. Great game. You making everybody who's talking crap about you eat shit. Yes, she is. Kayla making them all. She make when DT said those things with Sue Bird about her and talking about it's gonna be a rude awakening for when she gets there. Have go look at Kayla Clark stats, right? She is performing better than half of the females who entered the WNBA before her. All the superstars that they talk about, right? In fact, I want y'all to go look at some of the superstars' stats from way back in the day. Because Jewel Lloyd out there averaging, I think, like, what, 24, 25 points? She just dropped 32 on them the last time they played, right? When Jewel Lloyd first got to the league, you know how many points she averaged? 10. So... Caitlyn is already light years ahead of what they were. What they were. So she's only going to get better, guys. I don't care what none of y'all say. Keep talking shit about her not being great and good and all these other things. Her family believes in her. She believes in her. Her coaches that came from Iowa, her teammates, they believe and they know. The teams that play against her know. Why do you think they pick her up full court? They pick her ass up full court for a reason. They double team and triple team her for a reason because they know she's that damn good. It's just fans out there are jaded. Y'all are jaded, right, by shit like Gino. Because he got to eat shit for the shit he said to the coach. The coach connect the, uh, the UConn. He said some silly shit about, about Kaylin. Talking about she's not, she's not big enough. She's not strong enough. She's not going to make it. He's like, she's going to be really physical for her when she gets there. He talked some mad shit about her. Said she wasn't going to be ready for it. Boy, you was wrong. You was wrong. And it's crazy that these people talk about her the way they do, like Kim Mulkey. When I know that either one of you would have gave up your left leg to have her on your team. You you guys just talk silly and reckless after you don't get what you want, and it's pointless. I told you, stop being emotional. You need to start being logical. Because, Gino, if you're over there speaking big things about Caitlyn, right? Listen to what I'm saying. If you're speaking big things about Caitlyn, the people who like Caitlyn, the girls who are coming up in the ranks right now, the girls who might be getting ready to graduate high school, who are good or great from high school, might want to choose to come over there and play for you. Because of the positive things that you say about the WNBA and that person. You got to be smart about this, guys. You guys are ruining yourselves. Because this shit was inevitable, what you're seeing happen right now in the WNBA with Kaylin Clark. It was inevitable because she didn't get rattled. She didn't break. When they talk mad shit about her, when they pushed her on the ground, when they fouling her all crazy, when her teammates ain't catching passes, when her coach is taking out the game, when she's missing shots, when she's frustrated because her teammates ain't running the plays right, she didn't break. She showed frustration, but don't we all do? That's the human in us. But there are some people who are tapped into their purpose or things that are part of their purpose, and she's one of them. She's out there hooping on a grand stage. Are you playing basketball? Matter of fact, let's not say are you playing basketball. Are you doing exactly what you want to do with your life? I bet nine times out of ten, you aren't. 
And half of these aren'ts over there are the ones who are talking shit about Kaylin and talking shit about Angel because Gino had harsh words to say about Angel too. And what's happening is these guys are in the WNBA. I don't. She does get a lot of her own uh, rebounds from her own shots. But guess what? She's getting her own rebounds from her own shots. Nobody else is getting them from her. Show me as many people in the WNBA right now who can get their own damn rebounds. Listen, she divided y'all. You get it? She divided y'all. She divided herself from Caitlyn. Listen, she chose to be the villain, but the heroes get spoken about too. So much, in fact, that they make movies about them. Countless numbers of movies. And they got one Joker movie. And the next Joker movie going to be terrible because they're going to be singing. I don't know what the hell they were thinking about changing this shit into a musical. Who wants to go see fucking Joker singing, running around with Harley Quinn and some dumb shit? We ain't doing that. And in fact, they didn't cast Lady Gaga's ass to play Harley Quinn so that they could have an actual singer in the movie. What the fuck? I, I went way left, guys. <laughs> I went way left. I went way left. But look, 15 minutes. I said I want this to be short. We shorted it up. We stopped it right there. Kayla Clark, you did your damn thing. All y'all did y'all thing. Mitchell, I got to give you props too. Because when coach took you out, you, you could have been pissy and stayed over there on the sideline. But you came in and you showed poise, right? And athletic, uh, professionalism. When you came back in the second half, you kind of was squirrely in the beginning. But you got your shit together. Y'all got to understand. Y'all win games when Kaylin is getting over like seven to eight assists when the ball is go moving through her. Y'all win games. Y'all got a hard matchup coming up against with the Aces right now. I wouldn't bet money on y'all <laughs> because I know how good they are over there. But if y'all win, holy boy, you have, will have slayed another Olympic dragon. Can you do that? Kaylin, can y'all do that? I'll be tuning in, man. I, I can't live stream. It's going to be too late. And I, you know. Yeah, I, I, I just can't do it. But I will be tuning in. I hope y'all tune in, too. It's going to be on, I think, at 9.30 tomorrow. Uh, Fever versus Aces. Going to be a good one. If they, if, listen, if they let the, let the, let the game run through Kalen, you're going to see a huge difference. They, they have a chance because they got a squad over there with the Fever. I'm telling you they do. When you look at their team, I wish they would have gave Celeste Taylor a, a better look. I wish they would have had because Lexi and Wallace, they not it. They not it, man. So you got to go look through that roster. And shout out to Timmy, man. Welcome back. Because you are a lifesaver. Seriously. You, <laughs> you mean a lot to that team. You stand up. You the enforcer. I thought it was Smith. It's not. Timmy's the enforcer. You guys, thank you for tuning in. Man, look, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button to become a part of Chocolaty Crew. Hit that like button. Hit that notification button so you know when your boy drops videos. I'm out, guys. Peace.